BenQ X3000i Review The X3000i and the less costly BenQ TK700 STI encompass many of the same features. For example, both contain three contrasts for the game mode, tailored for different types of gaming. Both are also paired with 1920 by 1080 pixel DLP chips from T's Fast Switch Pixel Shift to show 3840 by 2160 pixels on the display. Moreover, they possess the equivalent luminosity rating. Nonetheless, the TK700 STI uses an illumination source and a color wheel instead of four LEDs like the X3000i does, red, green, blue, and blue. By incorporating a second blue LED, BenQ has improved the projector's brightness and color gamut. This innovation is cost-effective too, as the LEDs have a long lifespan of 20,000 hours in full power mode or 30,000 hours in eco mode, so you won't ever have to replace lamps. The X3000i is bigger and heavier than the TK700 STI, measuring 7.8 inches by 10.7 inches by 10.2 inches and weighing 14.1 pounds. Its enhanced sound system incorporates Bon Jovi digital power station driven 5 watt Trade Vola stereo speakers for a virtual 3D surround sound. Android TV is integrated into this BenQ projector, allowing users to switch between streaming and projection with a single remote. However, installation of the streaming dongle requires removing screws and panels something that must be done by the user afterward. If you are going to put the projector in a ceiling mount or on a surface that is lower than the screen, you are done with the installation. Yet, included with the projector there are two adjustment feet which the quick start guide shows how to add without explaining its purpose. Primarily, these are used for aiming the projector onto the screen when it is placed on a high shelf situated at the back of a room, this means that you need to turn the projector upside down. In these scenarios, when pointing upward towards the ceiling, the inbuilt feet do not function so you need an alternate set that provides equivalent capability when the projector is inverted. Fastening the screws on the BenQ products is difficult as they come loose and try to be attracted by the screwdriver. Without someone to help hold the magnetized pieces in place, maneuvering the screws into their appropriate slots is nearly impossible. BenQ should pre-assemble these parts before shipping them out. Attaching the supplementary feet can be annoying, but then the hardware setup is quite easy. Once the cables are plugged in, you just have to manually adjust zoom and focus. The back panel has two extra HDMI 2.0B ports and the only authority for Android TV connection is Wi-Fi. Fortunately, you can bypass the Android TV setup initially and return to it afterward if desired. Enjoy superior sound quality and loud volume from the X3000i projector's 5 watt stereo speakers. For better sound, you can connect it to a sound system using the X3000i offers 5 customizable, preset picture modes and a user mode for 1080p input. What makes this projector special is that it has 3 predefined variations for its game mode RPG, FPS, and SPG essentially giving the projector 8 modes rather than 6. To amplify the playing experience for each game type, there are also related audio settings. One nifty feature is the exclusive button on the remote control that allows you to rotate quickly between the various game modes available as well as whichever other picture setting was used prior to switching to game mode. It is best to stay away from bright mode on projectors as it gives an evident green hue. Cinema and RPG return the most precise colors. Besides having manual color calibration features, such as being able to change the dent, intensity, and strength for each primary and secondary shade, the X3000i has a built-in auto color calibration function. This automated capability is meant to hold consistent color precision for the pre-packaged settings over time as the light bulb weakens. To determine the 1080p SDR performance for formal film viewing evaluations remained with cinema for its color precision. Even though both light and dark sequences had a slight lack of delivering a strong feeling of 3D realism, the contrast in both looked acceptable. In particular, shadow detail stood out as it demonstrated some details in dim scenes that most projectors keep hidden. That is a minor plus when watching films, yet it is critical for games that conceal items or adversaries in shadows. For 4K displays, there are two picture modes available, HDR10 and HLG. These modes can be adjusted to fit your preferences with three choices FPS, RPG, and SPG. To quickly cycle through the different picture modes, you can use the dedicated button on the remote. To get the best possible quality in 4K HDR movie viewing tests, use the X3000i projector with its HDR brightness setting. Depending on the film source and room lighting, this mode can be adjusted to achieve optimal results. 